Welcome back to another Travel Tip Tuesday, where every Tuesday I bring you a vegan travel tip in two minutes or less. Last week I didn't post a travel tip. Um, because on Monday, a video emerged of a police officer killing another unarmed black man. This time, a man in his custody named George Floyd whose neck he knelt on for nearly nine minutes while he suffocated and cried out for help. Well, following that, there were protests, obviously, that are still ongoing in all 50 states and, and I think nearly a dozen countries around the world. So initially, I didn't, I didn't post anything because I wanted to try to hopefully be able to elevate the voices that actually needed to be heard and not uh, not be drowning anything out with my own superfluous bullshit. But at the same time, I also just I felt terrible. I still I don't want to be in front of the camera right now. I'm watching brazen displays of racism everywhere. Uh, the police responded to the protesters protesting police brutality with more police brutality and example after example after example. Like, absolutely overwhelming. So I didn't feel like making anything. I didn't feel like making travel content, for sure. You know, I've, uh, I've made travel my life. And I don't intend to stop traveling, but in light of everything that's going on, it, it feels it feels pretty fucking insignificant. So to sit here and give you a, give you a travel tip, I don't know. I'm just I guess the best that I can give you now is. Um, is just to say where you recognize racism, either whether it be overt or, uh, or whether it be systemic, Jim Crow laws, the new the new Jim Crow laws, redlining, or police brutality. Stand up against those things. If you don't see those things educate yourself. Find, there's so many resources online. I'll be posting some on Instagram later today, but find resources, educate yourself, and, and look inward. Look inward at the ways that you might think, well, I'm not a racist, I have black friends, or I, uh, or even I'm an ally and I speak out and you, you may be, but I think the bottom line is that like for all of us, um, it's a process. And so even though there are ways that we might in one area fight against racism, there might be some other area where we're kind of blind to that we're not paying attention, that we might be contributing to it in some other way. So. That's my advice this week. Before you go travel, make sure that you're working on yourself and that you're not contributing to racism and that you're standing up to racism wherever you see it. And also remember that it's a process. And in that process, uh, you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna not get it right. I'm not gonna get it right. So that's it. That's my advice for you. Before you think about going and traveling, before you think about blue water, before you think about street food and climbing mountains, think about injustice at home and think about how you might be contributing to it, even though, even inadvertently contributing to it, and try to make steps to make that right. Until next time, stay homesick and go vegan. Fuck racism.